Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am out she outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Venom vlog. So the last episode, we went over all the details that you guys wanted. You wanted to know what exactly I saw on that shoot and kind of my dot connecting of, you know, how it all connects together. And it had some spoilers in it. So if you don't want any spoilers and you haven't watched that episode, I would say go ahead and skip it because it, it might actually contain a spoiler for the movie. Minor one. I didn't tell you, you guys everything that I saw down there um, or overheard of like other things that were going on. And I asked people that were there who were on previous shoots, more details about the previous shoots and some of the stuff I learned, I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep some of this information to myself just because, you know, like, it, like it's not that big of a deal. Some of it's not, um, but some of it, I feel like I, I'm getting it secondhand. So I don't know really if I'm being told, like if I ask somebody like, oh, did you see the shoot the other day? Like, oh yeah, this happened. And I'm like, okay, I don't know that though. <laughs> like, I don't know. And I don't have any footage to back that up. So, you know, just for that sake and, you know, that I could be wrong or that I heard wrong information. I don't want to spread wrong information. I'm not a tabloid, uh, like a lot of these other websites are. I try to just bring to you as, as close to the facts as I can get, um, without, you know, embellishing on, on anything. So yeah, I drove up there. I got there around three o'clock, checked into my hotel. It was two blocks away. And uh, yeah, I got it for like 99 bucks, but then I had to make like a hundred dollar deposit and then I had to pay for valet. So it, I ended up spending like 450, something like that dollars on this trip. And I'm like, who cares, man? doesn't matter. It was so much fun. I think they gave me the deposit back. So maybe I only spent about $300, but still, um, I parked at the hotel, left my car there, ran over to the set and, uh, and just walked around the block, did some filming. And mainly what I did was I just wanted to film people doing their jobs. Like I know, you know, it's like, uh, you know, that's not, they don't want that, you know, maybe on some level, like, Hey, uh, you know, but I told anyone, I said, if you don't, you know, like if I'm filming somebody and I got like clear shots of them and they were within ear distance, I'd be like, Hey, if you don't want me to show you you know, I won't. And some people were like, I don't know, whatever. I don't care. What is it for? And I'm like, I do a YouTube show about Venom. And they're like, oh, cool. Good luck. You know, and most people were pretty nice, actually. So uh, so if there is someone who's watching this and like, hey, I didn't want my face shown, you know, let me know. I'm, I'm sorry. I uh, I tried to talk to you as many people as I could. Um, but I just kind of just did, you know, just ran my camera around and, um, and just I wanted to show people. So the reason why I did film you, um, if you are a crew member on this movie, is because a lot of YouTube shows out there that talk about movies. I feel like they don't actually know how movies are made and I've worked in movies before, but I still, there's a ton of stuff. I don't know how, you know, how they happen on movies and there's a ton of pieces of equipment I've never had my hands on or even seen because I've worked on like low budget movies and stuff. I've never seen a production on this scale. So there was stuff here that I'm just going to show the footage of where I was just blown away, man. Like I, I just really saw, I saw guys putting together like this uh, techno crane thing that was just beautiful looking it was so beautiful like if you like uh, equipment and stuff like i like mechanical stuff and when i was looking at this i was like i don't know what that is but it's amazing looking um and there was you know all kind of stuff going around they were parking cars they had extras coming in and they were like they paid sag act uh extra actors to bring their own cars and then they had them as pedestrians walking on the street so there's so many moving parts they rented out there were businesses restaurants a bar called a zombie uh something <laughs> that uh, people wanted to go to there were people that were like hey we just want to go to that bar over there and the cops were like you can't like we like the production paid for all these businesses to be closed for the day can you imagine that? Like when people, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I want to bring this kind of information to my audience. I think a lot of people who watch YouTube channels, they see like their favorite YouTuber either, you know, destroy a movie. They're like, you know, complaining about it. They hate it. They're, you know, they, they play the, the dumb SJW, you know, woke, you know, they, they like, it's the two talking heads back and forth and they're not actually learning anything. Uh, they're just, you know, getting upset with their, the person they're watching or someone's being hyperbolically positive about it. And then they get swept up in that hyperbolic positivity, but nobody actually seems to educate their audience on like how movies are made. And that's why I wanted to be different. Like I wanted to do something a little different on my show than other shows do. And so that's why I wanted to film the crew members that were just in their element, that were working on everything and they were building these piece of equipment so I could show this footage and, and talk to you guys about how they rented out this whole block. And then the previous, you know, two nights ago, uh, before this shoot, they filmed the Woody Harrelson stuff out in front of the Crosby. 
and the Schuler, the, the building that they turned into the Schuler building, um, which thank you guys for reminding me. I knew when I was making that video that the, the name Schuler sounded familiar, but I have so much on my mind lately that it slipped my mind that it was based on Randy Schuler. So I edited in that into the text in one video, but I didn't openly say it. So yeah, you know, I was hoping that sign would still be there because I wanted to film in front of it, uh, my intro, but you know, the sign was gone, but that's okay. I filmed in front of the alley, which was really cool too. Uh, so anyway, so, you know, there, there's a lot of moving parts in this. There's extras moving down the sidewalk that are being directed by, you know, uh, you know, a background AD or whatever. And, you know, and there's like PAs that are telling them to go back to one cars moving that have to then go in reverse and go back to original spots, motorcycles driving around, uh, the camera moving lights, you know, gears, renting out all the stores. I mean, uh, you know, there were so many elements to this and it looked so expensive and uh i was just like yeah when pe people don't understand how hard a it is to do this stuff but b how much control you need over your environments um to do this stuff and that makes it even more harder more stressful and, and that's why there's so many crew members and people to try to make it as less stressful on the actors and the people that are filming their scenes and the director andy circus and everyone they needed that they needed to like you know they need to rein it in and, and bring the control so that those guys don't stress and they can focus on their jobs and that's how it is it's everybody doing their part so that everybody else's job is a little bit easier and uh, and that's a well-oiled machine you know at work and it's it's great to see sometimes it's it's you know it, it just put me in awe i was like wow this is really neat you know to do to see all this and it reminded me of why I was a PA before and why I wanted to get into movies was because I was like, I like being a part of a, of a machine. Um, it, it was neat to see it move so like fluidly in this case here. So, um, so then, yeah, after, you know, I showed a bunch of footage of, of equipment being used and everything like that and just different pieces of gear uh, throughout the day and night. But then there was also the motorcycle scene, which we talked about in the last one. So we saw Tom, we had first, we had a guy like wrangle the motorcycle. So he was like drive it up and down the hill, just kind of get it ready, put it in position, uh, move it whenever cars needed to come by or whatever. And then you had, uh, you know, Tom come, he got dropped off. And that was my first thing. So like I, like I said, I listen to people very closely when they speak. I am very observant with my eyes and I try to process the information and and sub uh, categorize it you know in my brain the best I can um and so and so that I can know where everything is so when I saw uh Tom get dropped off I made a mental note of the car and then as I was being asked like a cop came over and said hey I know you're filming over here you know of the set and everything but they're about to film and the camera's going to be looking down the alley right where you're standing so you can't be here I need you to go up to the top of the either go up to the top of the alley uh, or the top of the street or the bottom of the street and so I, I said oh, okay and I go well, where do you need me and he goes um it doesn't matter just pick one or the other and I said okay so I looked around and I saw the car um that Tom came in on at the top of the hill and I said you know what I'll go to the top of the hill because I figured well there's his car chances are it's just going to go and pick him up at the set when he's done filming but maybe i'll get lucky and he'll walk to it maybe uh so that's what i did and uh luckily that's exactly what happened uh he was uh he you know the the, the street was too busy so they didn't bring his car down so he just walked up to his car so that's how i was able to bump into him so yeah i just i try to be observant i try to know where my surroundings are and i try to increase my odds of of you know something awesome happening, you know, if possible. Uh, but I did, it was back in my head. I kept thinking, well, the car is going to go down there and pick him up. So, you know, I, he's not going to come up here, but in this one instance, the car, the street just got a little too busy and, and it was just easier for him to do that. Um, but, so that was cool. And then that put him in our path to where we got to meet him, you know, and stuff like that. So that was great. So, uh, but before I went up there, I said in my last video, I got to reach out to Orion from the Venom site. And then also Sam, who was a local in San Francisco, and I reached out to them and we were able to all meet up and, you know, and be there when Tom came by and we all got pictures with them, which was awesome. So I'll show their pictures and my pictures up here too, uh, because it was just a great moment. It really just made our whole night. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I didn't get a ton of stuff. I mean, mostly it was just, I wanted to, you know, show the, the production side of this. I wanted to show people working and doing their jobs. And that's the kind of footage I wanted to see. Like that was honestly, that really is what I wanted to capture. Um, because I just feel like that's an element you don't see a lot of. A lot of times people are looking for the main actors and they're looking for the director. And I did get a little bit of that, obviously, uh, but I did want to sp spend my focus because I knew once they pushed me back, I'm like, all right, I'm just out here with the crew now. Like, and I don't, I'm not going to see what they're filming. So I just better just shoot this stuff. And, and this will be the focus of the episode is, is 
work ethic. And uh, and it was cool to see all these people working their butts off on this set and having fun and being nice. Like I would ask them questions and they are like, you know, they'll tell, they're like, hey man, I can't tell you. And that's why it's so funny when I see these other YouTubers, they go like, um, oh, like, uh, I, you know, are these other channels or these other reporters are like, oh, I have someone close to the production. And I'm like, what person? Because none of those people at that set spoke like they, I mean, they spoke to me, but they didn't give me anything. <laughs> I only overheard some stuff. Um, but again, I don't even know if what I overheard is if I fully heard it right or whatever. That's why I don't want to repeat it. Um, so for the last thing we're going to talk about here, um, you know, I met up with Orion. It was great hanging out with him. We, they were filming and then they did like a quick lunch. So we, we had some time. So we went and ate like at a chicken wing place or I did anyway. Um, and, uh, but he came with me and we were talking and nerding out. We were kind of asking each other because I didn't know a lot about his background about uh, with the Venom site and stuff. So I wanted to know more about how he got, you know, involved with them and stuff. And it was so nice. It was nice talking to him and just connecting with him and then going down and seeing Sam and then, you know, and everything and connecting with him. It was a blast. And all the people we met that worked on the show and pedestrians that hung out with us, it was a good time. We had a blast. Um, so then let's get to the, you know, the Tom meeting and this will wrap up this episode. Um, you know, I'm sitting there and I, or I'm standing at the top of the hill. I see his car. The guy looks like he's gearing it up, like he's going to go drive it down. So I'm like, okay, it looks like, he, you know, he's going to go down and pick up Tom. So it doesn't look like we're going to meet him. Um, and but before I could tell that to the group, because I was kind of like, they were cut, like looking at me like, oh, what do you think is going to happen? You know, where? and I'm like, I don't know, maybe he'll come up here. His car is, you know, there, but maybe his car is going to drive down and get him. I don't know. But then I saw the guy stop and he was just like, all right. And he kind of did one of these. So, so then I'm looking around and I see Tom coming up the hill. And I'm just, my eyes are locked on him, right? I, I know he's, there's other people around him, but I don't know what's going on. I'm just, I just see him and I'm like, oh my God. And you know, Orion's like, dude, there's Tom. He's coming right up now. So I pull out my phone and I start recording and he's walking up. And as he, you know, uh, gets around like this, there's like these little barriers that they say like, you know, you can't pass or whatever. Cause obviously that's where they were. They, they quarantined us off the street. Um, so they had these little signs and you know, everything. So Tom's coming around them and there's a kid with them. And I didn't see the kid at first. And so I'm recording and I just see this kid. And then I look at Tom and Tom looks right at me, makes eye contact with me and then puts his hand over his son's face. And that's when I realized it was his son. And I immediately dropped my camera and I said, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he goes, it's okay. He goes, it's all right. And, and then he was like telling his son like, Hey, let's, let's just go. Let's go. And then one guy said, and I was, I felt so bad, even though it was an accident, I just felt terrible. So I didn't want to, I didn't say anything else. But luckily some other guy was like, hey, can we get an autograph or a picture with you? And he said, you know what? Let me go drop my son off um, and then I'll come back to set. And on my way back, I'll hang out with you guys for a minute or so. So uh, we were like, no problem. So he went and did that. And I immediately deleted that footage. It, I can completely understand him wanting his son to be, you know, the privacy there. I completely understand and respect that. So when he came back over, I was really surprised because I was like, oh, dude, if he doesn't come back, I understand. I think I just screwed up and I felt really bad. He did. He, he his, his, you know, sent his son off and then he came back to us and he's like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll come back and hang out with you guys for a minute and then I'm going to, I'm going to take off. And we were like, no way. So he was, you know, went up and one guy was like, can I get autographs? So we started autographing stuff. And then I pulled out my camera and I start recording him. And he looks at me and he goes, uh, and I, at this time I gave him a comic book. I gave him the Venom movie comic book uh, right here. And he signed it. And he, as he's signing, he goes, do you want me to sign it to you? And I said, yes, that would be amazing. And so he goes, okay, uh, what's your name? And he and meanwhile, he's kind of looking at me like, like kind of double taken. And then he goes, what's your name? And I go, seek. And he goes, uh-huh. And I go, S. And he's like, uh-huh. And I go, I, I spell out my name, K-E. And then uh, he goes, Huh. And then I, I pull, and then at that point I was like, all right, I got footage of him signing it. Great. I put the camera in my pocket and then he turns to me and goes venom vlog. And I was like, what did you just say? And he goes, your venom vlog. He goes, Jake was telling me about you. And he goes, and I go, yeah, we met a couple years ago. And he goes, yeah. And he goes, but Jake told me about you and Jake Tamori, obviously being his, his stunt double. Um, and I go, he did. And he goes, yes. He goes, uh, uh, I, that we got an email, uh, uh, that was that you sent and it was given to us. And he goes, so, uh, Jake read it to me or, or let me read it. And he goes, and we were, we really loved reading it. He goes, it was a really nice email. And he goes, and, uh, and we checked out the show and he goes, it's, it's, he goes, it's, I'm glad you made it up, man. He goes, cause you said in your email, you weren't sure based on how you felt if you could make it. And I said, 
I go, dude, would I miss this for the world? I go, it's Venom 2, man. And I'm so excited. And he goes, that's awesome. And meanwhile, there's other people like who want autographs. And, and I felt a little bad, but I'm also like in this moment. And I was just like, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to be a little selfish here. And he goes, he goes, all right. I see, can you sign the comic? He goes, what else can I do for you? Anything. What, what can I do for you? And I go, um, can you do an intro for the show? And he was like, you know what? I can't. I hope you respect that. It's just because last time I did the intro, it was because we were done filming the movie. It was easy for me to do press. I was on the press portion of the of the you know of make movie making he goes so it was easy i could do that no problem and the sony person said i could so it's fine he goes but i, I cannot do that right now and he goes you have to understand it, we're still filming the movie i can't do anything like that and i said no, no problem i go i'm not interviewing you i just you know and he goes yeah i understand but i can't do anything i go okay no problem i go he goes but how about a picture i go of course and then we take a picture and he goes anything else and i'm like i mean i think i took up enough of your time i go but you know I, you know, I wear this helmet and, and you guys know, I, I, even though I shouldn't be, and I know I shouldn't be, but I do get embarrassed wearing it. Cause it, you know, I got, I wear it in public. I wear it all the time and I have to wear it um, you know, all the time. And it's a, it's a bummer. And, and I did have a lot of coworkers sign it, but they sign the back. No one can see the front. And I really wanted someone to sign the front. And I just go, Tom, we, we sign my helmet. And he goes, heck yeah <laughs> and then he leaned in he goes, can I touch your head? I'm like, sure. And he's like, you know, and he signed the helmet and uh and then he goes uh he goes he was like it was good seeing you he's like i'm glad you came up here and i go i did too man i'm really glad too so then he went around and, and took pictures of everyone else he left for a little bit came back um and this time he came back with jake and then you know he hung out with everyone else for a second got pictures with them got a picture with orion uh signed a couple more things then he it was like maybe like seven or eight people that was it it was a really small crowd then he went back shot one more scene and then came back to us and that's when sam came down and joined us and uh, and then tom came up and he was like hey um you know, thank you guys. And there was a couple other people there. So he's, he's, you know, I didn't, I was like, Hey, I'm not going to bother you again. Like you, you really spoiled me. <laughs> so he kind of walked by and he was like, all right. And I gave him a thumbs up and he signed other people's stuff. And then, um, I had my head down though. And I was like trying to fuddle with my phone and I was like, Oh, maybe I'll film him just meeting other people just to have like the, you know, the B roll or whatever of it. And, uh, and so, uh, so I was getting my phone ready and then all of a sudden there's like a hand on my shoulder and I hear venom vlog. And I look up and Jake Tamori is looking at me and he goes, bro, he goes, nice to meet you. He goes, yeah, he, Tom told me you were up here. And I'm like, what? And I was just, I felt like a rock star. Like the two coolest dudes in the world made me feel like a rock star. I'm like, dude, I'm just like, I'm just like a, an, an overweight nerd who loves Venom a little too much. And you guys made me feel like I was cool. Um, and it was awesome. It was so awesome. And so the fact that Jake knew me just by looking at me, he's like, dude, Venom vlog. And he's like, uh, I go, man, he goes, he goes, how are you? How you feeling? How you doing? I'm like, I'm doing great now. Like I'm with you guys. And he goes, thanks for coming up here, man. I thank you so much for being here. And he goes, uh, can I take a picture with you? And I'm like, yeah. So like, you know, we, he had like someone with him and he's like, I'll take it for you. So when I, of course, when I took a picture with Tom, my hands are shaking. So like it was the first time I met him and the picture didn't come out you know, as great as I, I wish I could have, but I was just too nervous, right? Same with Jake, but luckily someone was like, hey, I'll take it for you. So I got a really good solid picture with Jake and uh, Jake was like, dude, thank you. You know, he was so, he was so nice, man. They were both so nice. Uh, they're, they're busy, they're working on a movie. They got a million things in their mind. They got, you know, Tom had his family there. You know, he was like, there was so much going on and they took time to make a guy like me and everyone else around us, Sam, Orion, the other fans that were there made us feel like, superheroes it was so cool the attention he gave us and he didn't have to um it was amazing and i know i feel bad there were some people that were like on the bottom of the hill that were like hey tom you know why do you go up there and not come down here it's like you know you, again it's like he can't do everything and we just happen to be at the right place at the right time it just that's how it works i mean like i said i try to position myself in the right place by knowing where he might walk um but we just got lucky really is what happened and um and i'm so fortunate uh and the fact that they read the email i couldn't believe the email actually got to both of them um the email that i sent it, it blew me away and then they knew me right away they were like i'm vlog like holy cow uh getting that kind of uh, recognition from the two guys that we've been talking about since season one of this show, uh, when I first learned who Jake was, um, and we followed all, you know, all the stunts they did in Atlanta and then over in San Francisco. And it's, it's so cool that I got to meet these guys. Like when we started this show, I was just a guy in an apartment talking about Venom. And then today I'm the guy who got to, you know, hang out with both of them. 
Uh, it's super cool. It's And I never thought it would be possible. The trajectory this show has led us and the journey we've been on since the beginning, I, I'm blown away by it. It's honestly, it, uh, it's been amazing. And having you guys by my side this whole time and being this close now to 2,000 subscribers, like, I just never thought this was possible. So thank you guys for being part of the show. Thank you, Tom and Jake, for, for making that trip worth it on every level. Even if I didn't get to meet you guys, I had such a good time there. But having that was just a clincher. It was just the best ever. And I'm glad I could share all that footage and all that information and that story with you guys. Uh, so let me know what you think. I know this is a long episode, but I really wanted to use the last of my voice box on this video. Um, I will have more videos coming up soon. We're going to talk about the filming at the church and all that stuff. But of course, I want to post those videos after they do the filming because there might be other leaked footage that might show up so we'll you know we'll share that stuff in those videos um but uh, for now i'm going to take a break i got these two videos recorded i'm going to start editing them tonight and then i'll post them hopefully in the morning uh, if i can before i go to work so uh yeah enjoy them very much and uh, thank you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there orion sam jake tom the crew the cast everyone that worked on this movie that we were that were in our presence while we were there the police officers the pedestrians that hung out with us everyone i was there from like three in the afternoon until you know midnight um that's how dedicated i was to just being a part of this and and bringing this to you guys you guys deserve this um i wanted to experience this because i know when i moved to florida i am probably never going to get a chance to do something like this again it's hard for me to fly so i doubt i'll be able to fly to san francisco for the third venom movie i doubt i'll be able to have that opportunity so this is it for me like as far as venom stuff goes in person and i wanted to make it worth it and i wanted it to really bring something unique to you guys uh that uh, that i wouldn't have been able to do uh, and i won't be able to do in the future so uh I, you know enjoy it hope you did and uh, and thank you and let me know your thoughts down below and as always stay subscribed we got even though we won't do more stuff like this, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun, uh, Venom fun in the future for sure. So stay subscribed and uh, I'll have more videos up as soon as possible. But I'm going to actually allow myself to rest and heal uh, before we get to more videos. And because I know that's what you guys want from me too. So I'll get to that now that we're done with this episode. So thank you so much. I will see you all in the future. Peace.